Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how the female narcissist will ruin your life. Please give this video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just head to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The female narcissist will ruin your life. Our modern society puts a lot of pressure on how a woman should look and behave. A lot of pressure is put on girls when they are young. Will they then grow up feeling like they should meet certain beauty standards? Women may also experience this pressure from the media, friends, and even their family. The beauty industry makes a lot of money from making women feel insecure about how they look. So a lot of pressure is put on women to meet beauty standards. And women also face enormous pressure from society to, to succeed in their professions, which leads to anxiety and stress. These pressures may have resulted in the rise of female narcissism. In the 1970s, 80% of men and 20% of women had narcissistic personality disorder. Now, it is around 50% for men and women. As a man, before you were involved with a female narcissist, you may have desired to be with a woman who was fun to be around. A woman who is not boring or dull. A woman who is adventurous, playful and flirtatious. Someone who you can depend on. Someone who is reliable and trustworthy. And does what she says she will do. Rather than disappointing you or letting you down. A woman who is loyal, honest and trustworthy. Who does not play games or manipulate you. A woman who is helpful and supportive and does not take you for granted or expect you to do everything for her. You may have desired to be with a woman who was responsible and mature. A woman who does not create drama or problems for you. Someone who will be there for you. Someone who can make you laugh. Someone who is not easily offended and instead she is positive and optimistic and she encourages you. She inspires and motivates you because she believes in your dreams. So she encourages you to pursue them instead of criticizing or judging you. She may give you feedback or advice, but she will not hold you back or discourage you from growing or changing. And instead, she pushes you to become the best version of yourself. And she is loyal and faithful to you. She does not cheat on you or flirt with other men behind your back. She does not talk bad about you or betray your trust. And she does not compare you to other men or try to make you feel inadequate. Yes, that may have been what you envisioned as a lifelong partner. And it was what you thought you had found when you first met the female narcissist. She made you feel special. She asked you questions about yourself as though she actually cared. She paid constant attention to you. She was always there, but it was all a lie, a game, an illusion. You were seduced into a web of lies and deceit. The female narcissist mirrored your traits and desires as you showered her with flattery and love. She used her charm and physical attractiveness to launch a surprise attack on you by making you feel special and privileged and thus creating a deep sense of addiction and need in you to establish power and control over you until you soon discovered they're nothing like who they initially portrayed themselves to be and instead they're hypersensitive and reactive. They get annoyed and offended very easily. They change rapidly and unpredictably to where they may even become aggressive and violent. 
but then they may become calm and peaceful. They may return to being kind and sweet. They will act as though nothing happened and they won't understand why you're upset after they just emotionally and psychologically abused you and then they betrayed you. Instead, they will gaslight you. They will manipulate you into questioning your own memory, perception and sanity by pretending nothing unusual happened as though it was just in your mind. And that it's you who is hypersensitive and overreactive when in fact, female narcissists are hypersensitive to criticism. They are easily offended and upset and often for no reason because they have to be seen as perfect and superior, which is why they are always scanning your body language and facial expressions to see if there is negative or unfavorable reaction to what they want you to believe that they are. And if there is, it will set them off because they are hypersensitive to any perceived criticism. So they will become defensive or they will criticize you because they cannot tolerate any feedback or criticism. Even if you're just being kind, helpful or honest because they have to be seen as perfect and superior, which is why you will never be able to have an open, honest conversation with a female narcissist. They're not interested in anything to do with them being insufficient which means that you will never feel heard, seen or validated because they're in denial. So they're only going to project blame shift and gaslight you. They're not going to be able to hear you. And the more disordered they are, the more intense their attack will be. They will refuse to be held accountable because the female narcissist is never wrong. They're never flawed. So they don't believe they should ever have to be accountable for anything which means that if you tell the female narcissist they're hurting you, or if you show any signs of pain, loss or distress, then that must mean that you are the problem because they will see it as an attack on their character. So they will blame you for hurting them because the effects that they're having on you are revealing the truth about them, which in their minds is false because they're in denial, but they believe that it gives them the right to lie or hide important information, which is why you will never get the full story because they will distort the truth so that it supports their false narrative. You can never have a genuine conversation with the female narcissist. It will always be awkward and uncomfortable. You will always be walking on eggshells around them because they cannot, ex they cannot be real and accept the facts, which means that they are incapable of seeing you or hearing you. So they will never be able to understand you. Because it's like you're speaking two different languages. You're open, honest and authentic, but they're unable to be vulnerable and real. Which is why once they see you're not going along with their false narrative and their delusional regality, they will attack you, your reputation and your sense of regality. And while in the beginning they may have been pretending, you will see that they do not care about how you feel, especially if your feelings reveal something bad about them but they will feel entitled to privileges and special treatment, such as being seen as special, lying, ruining your reputation and sharing your secrets and personal information. The female narcissist will betray you. They do not care about you or your feelings. They don't care about what makes you comfortable. They don't care about your preferences and yet they will dump all of their problems onto you. Problems that they have created and they will expect you to deal with that without any consideration for your limits or personal boundaries because they feel entitled to harm you and even your own children and they feel no remorse. Yet at the same time, they have this delusional belief that they're special and superior, which is why they're able to cause the damage they cause without any consideration for you. Because the female narcissist does not care they don't want to talk about the things they've done. They don't want to talk about anything that portrays them in a negative light. They will do anything if they think they can get away with it because they do not care. They've had so many unpleasant experiences and they have so much emotional baggage to the point where they have become damaged. So abusing someone and ruining their life is normal to them now. It doesn't concern them. And yet, 
They may shame you for wanting a girl who is more soft and feminine, as though you're seeking power, or you just want a pushover. Because the female narcissist is very insecure, and they're also very competitive, which causes them to be ruthless and merciless to where they don't care about what happens to you. And yet, you have to be perfect. And even then, they expect you to see it as a privilege just to be around them. It doesn't mean that you deserve anything in return. Instead, they will ruin everything because they have a void that can never be filled. So nothing you do will ever be good enough. And if they can't have their way with you, they're going to go some other route without any accountability for their actions because they're disconnected from themselves. So instead, they will play the victim and they will blame you because it's never enough. The female narcissist will expect you to work all day just to provide for her the lifestyle that she wants. Female narcissists are often money oriented. They are excessively concerned with material possessions and they demand a lot of attention. They will take advantage of you and they will argue with you constantly because no matter what you do for them, they will never be grateful. They will never show any appreciation towards your kindness or generosity because in their minds they are perfect and superior. So they feel entitled to anything you do for them and they will always demand more. They will expect you to buy them cars, clothes and vacations, but they will never be satisfied. While a female who is not a narcissist would be happy with just a fraction of what you're doing for the female narcissist. If you confronted the female narcissist on this, she would justify it because she's perfect and superior. And other women are not as special as she is, when the truth is that they're just ungrateful. They will find something wrong with everything you do because they're not happy with themselves. So no matter how much you do for them or how much you support them, it's never going to be enough. They will always find something to demonize you with to betray you as worthy of contempt or blame because they just can't accept the fact that they're not good enough, which is why they demand more and more from you, as though they want you to prove your love to them. When the reality is that they were spoiled at a young age, they've been involved with so many people in the past who they never appreciated and they're addicted to social media and dating apps to the point where they become desensitized. They're no longer sensitive to a good man because they've already been exposed to it so many times. They spend so much time on social media and dating apps until it increases their stress and the level of their stress hormones, cortisol and adrenaline. So it releases more cortisol and adrenaline into their body and brain until it leads to more stress and both physical and mental exhaustion into a person who is already suffering with a mental illness so they will never be able to form a close relationship with anyone. They have no interest in intimacy or sex. They may have been exposed to pornography from a very young age, and it may have been shown to them by someone else in their classroom, which rewires their brain and affects them later in life. They're subjected to hypersexualization as a child, from seeing push-up bras, makeup and plastic surgery, which they can see on public television, and they destroyed their self-esteem long before they even became a teenager. So now they're an adult, and even if they don't have a diagnosable mental illness, of course they have problems. Because society is not set up to see us healthy and happy, or to see you married or in a loving relationship. It's designed to extract all of your time, energy and attention until you have nothing left to give. Because that's how they make money. And society is very important to narcissists. They're very concerned about their image and status. They spend a lot of time on social media and dating apps. They're always seeking supply. So of course, they're impacted by this more than most people. And on top of that, they're working every day. They have a void that can never be filled. So they've got no energy to give. They need you to run around like a headless chicken for them because you're not wired the way that they are. You're wired to give their way to take and consume. And they're consuming a lot of toxic and negative things because that's how society is set up to be. 
They don't want people who are self-sustaining. They don't want people who don't need anybody. They want people who are dependent on the government because that they enslave you. So now people can't get married. They can't get a good enough paying job. And they can't have the future that they were promised, which is why this generation is doing worse than those generations before. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.